Ethan was a subcontractor for a postal uh, a company that delivered mail in Madison, Wisconsin. And he's going to tell you his story about backmarking ballots in the post office. Now, I, I, I want to say this. You've heard this pop up elsewhere. Traverse City, Michigan. Whistleblower steps forward and says the postmaster ordered him to backdate ballots. You all know about the gentleman in Erie, Pennsylvania, that they claim recanted, but then he said, I never recanted. He overheard it. There's also Elkins Park, Pennsylvania, in which a gentleman was told that he must throw away or put in the bulk undeliverable mail, all Trump mail, and deliver Biden mail. There's a lot of whistleblowers in the United States Postal Service that give pause for concern. And Ethan has come forward and is going to share his story about concerns in Madison, Wisconsin. Thank you, Phil. During the run-up to and on election day, I was working as a temporary hire at United Mailing Services, UMS, a USPS subcontractor in Wisconsin. I began employment on August 26, 2020 as a route driver and box truck driver. This meant my job was to pick up mail on a predetermined route and deliver it to UMS for sorting and metering. I would then take the sorted mail in my box truck to USPS. In September or October, I began to deliver mail and ballots from UMS to USPS as part of my evening delivery duties. I knew this because there was special bins marked for ballots only. On one occasion, I forgot to retrieve the ballots for transportation and I had to go back for them. After that, I always made sure to check that I had the ballot bins loaded for transport. On November 2nd, 2020, I noticed that there was only one ballot in the bin for delivery to USPS. And on November 3rd, election day, there were no ballots in the bin for delivery. One can imagine my surprise then, when the next day, November 4th, I was asked by a senior USPS employee named Monte if I had forgotten any ballots the night before. Monte explained that an order came down from the Wisconsin, Illinois chapter of USPS that 100,000 ballots were missing. Monte then told me that his post office had dispatched employees to look for the missing ballots around 4 a.m. and that only seven or eight were found at UMS. Based on my previous experience and habit of double checking for ballots, I believe that to be a lie. The following day, November 5th, 2020, I had a conversation with a different USPS named Rachel in which she admitted that USPS employees were ordered to backdate ballots that were received too late to be lawfully counted. I asked Rachel if I would get in trouble with my boss for those ballots the other night, referring to the allegedly missing ballots I discussed with USPS employee Monte on November 4th, 2020. No, you wouldn't, she responded, as long as they were postmarked for the third. She continued, that's why they had us do that. I didn't bring any of this to the attention of my supervisors at USPS at the time due to what I perceived to be their hostility towards President Donald Trump and their evident contempt for the law. I heard those same two post office employees making jokes about taking mail-in ballots for Trump and throwing them away. I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Biden supporter either. In fact, I didn't vote for either of the main candidates. But something profoundly wrong occurred in Wisconsin during the presidential election, and the American people have a right to know about it. Thank you. Now, you probably caught that, but it is significant that Ethan firmly believes that he did deliver all ballots, and that falsely, postal workers claimed at a time when they were told to round up 100,000 ballots found ballots within the stream of mail that he was responsible for. 